He called it a messy process, but President Obama says NATO is unified in a plan to withdraw from Afghanistan. At the NATO summit in Chicago, world leaders endorsed a pullout strategy that gives Afghan security forces control by mid-2013. Our forces broke the Taliban's momentum. Afghan security forces have grown stronger. The deadline for complete withdrawal is 2014, with NATO leaders calling the plan a responsible transition. But ITV's Robert Moore has a more cynical take. It's always said it is much easier to start a war than to finish one. And so it is proving. In truth, Afghanistan has become unsustainable for the alliance, judged by many now to be unaffordable, unwinnable, and increasingly unpopular. A CBS New York Times poll found in March, support for the war in Afghanistan had hit an all-time low. That pessimism is not uncommon to find in Western press coverage. Here's Sky News. We've told the enemy when we're leaving. Why are we staying any longer? The Guardian's editorial board writes, the exit strategy has become all exit and no strategy. And while NATO leaders called the timetable a milestone, the BBC's Mark Mardell asks, milestone or millstone? And writes, it looks like a tombstone and sounds like a millstone. Newly elected French President Francois Hollande had made a campaign promise the French would be out of Afghanistan as soon as possible. Mardell notes NATO's leaders rather ignored him and just hoped no one else would follow his lead and start elbowing others out of the way in their desire to get home. But in a news conference marking the announcement, President Obama acknowledged there was no perfect end to the war in Afghanistan. Pledging to stand with Afghanistan, the alliance pledged to help fund Afghan armed forces even after troops withdraw. For Newsy, I'm Christina Hartman. Multiple sources, the real story.